This interview was made possible by our friends at Lendio. Visit Lendio.com, making small business loans simple. Hey everyone, it's Mike Sullivan and this is MO.com. Thanks for joining me. Today I have Alexander Rambaugh with me. He is the founder and CEO of Agendize. Alexander, thanks for joining me today. Can you tell us what is the goal of Agendize? The goal uh, of Agendize is, to, uh, is to, uh, oh, to make sure that we can provide more calls, more appointments, and, uh, and more visits to our customers. Our customers they usually have a website and they invest uh, a lot in getting traffic to their website, uh, but they, uh, they lack getting more conversion from their website. That, that, uh, and this is where we can help. So uh, we have developed a, a large series of uh, tools, conversion tools, that make it easy for their web visitors to contact them, to set appointment with them, and uh, to remind about them, to, uh, to also to, um, to, uh, to give testimonials and, uh, and to visit them. So, so this, is what, uh, this is what we do. So it sounds like you're converting traffic into actual business, is that correct? Yes, that's right. Um, we believe that uh, traffic is important, but uh, you know, when you have a shop, you have a retail shop, that's fine that people visit you, enter uh, into your shop. But what is more important for a business owner is that people really transact. And uh, in, in the web, the web is fine in order to, uh, um, uh, to, uh, to be there and to have a web presence. But what is important is to transform this into true contacts, into true conversation. It's only when you start uh, talking with your customer, for most of the businesses, that you, you, uh, you have an opportunity to, uh, to make a sale. So uh, this is where we can help. Do you have any tools or metrics or any way to measure the success of your services? Yes, we have uh, customers that, uh, <clears throat> you know, we, we do those conversion tools for any kind of business, small business and very large organization, large bank insurance company, telco use our tools, but also uh, plumbers, uh, uh, any kind of uh, restaurants and uh, any kind of uh, small business. And as some example, uh, we, we have a business that uh, got uh, around 40% more calls. Uh, in, in the past, they, they were using contact request forms on their website, and they switched that contact request form into our uh, web callback functionality. That means that users can directly enter their mobile phone number or direct line, and automatically our servers will call them, and we require the times the business. Um, they dramatically increase their... Uh, the number of receives because usually they were receiving an email saying that this person wants to be contacted. But when they try to contact that uh, that web uh, visitor, uh, they usually uh, ring uh, the, the phone ring, but they don't uh, get an answer or uh, they get a voicemail, and it was really hard for them. So with a web call back, they 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 they, they got fifty percent more calls. Uh, uh, also, uh, people who have deployed our online scheduling, online appointment functionality on their website, just uh, a few minutes to, uh, to deploy it, uh, they got 35% uh, more appointments and more visits to their spa or to their air salon. So really, we increase the number of, uh, of contact points and conversations. Okay? Another, another, uh, another, uh, another SMB, it's a plumber, he got 40% more, uh, more calls. So it's really depend on the business, but usually you can expect to get at least 25% more, uh, more conversation and hopefully uh, more transactions. So I'm looking at your website and it says on it nearly 22 million activities powered to date. What exactly does that mean? That means that we have provided uh, today uh, over 20 million calls, appointments, uh, chat conversation to, uh, to the websites that use our technology. So uh, any website, any uh, uh, SMB customer or uh, our mid-site customer can go to our website or ask their uh, web agency or their web designer to go to our website. In a question of minutes, they will be able to, uh, to customize, to pick the right conversation tools that uh, fit their business, to deploy it, uh, and they see, the, uh, and they see the, uh, the impact and the benefits. So because we offer some credits for free, it's really free to use the technology, and you, they only pay when they receive a call, when they have been able to, uh, 
to set up an appointment. So there is a, a few cents or a few dollars per, per, per action. What I really like about your site is when you go there, there are videos showing exactly what the product is or how to use it. Um, are you finding that other people are finding those videos valuable as well? Uh, one minute, two minute videos are really key in order to, uh, to focus on, uh, on one benefit, on one functionality. I think that uh, instead of uh, having uh, long uh, support pages with uh, a lot of uh, Q&A and a lot of uh, material, written material, it's much easier to, uh, to, to shoot a, a, a video. And technology helps for that. Uh, with Skype, with a lot of technology, you, you are able to, uh, to, uh, to turn any of your content into a small and relevant video and to publish it. Can you tell me how you funded the company, especially around launch time? Can you talk a little bit about how you prepared and where the funding came from? Yes, yeah, so we, we got two funding. Uh, we got a, a seed funding and a A theory. In total, we raised $3.2 million. Uh, first time it was back in 2006 and second time it was in 2009, two, year, two years ago. So <clears throat> uh, when I started the funding process, uh, I, uh, I contacted a lot of companies and I had plenty of meetings. The point is I, I discovered that it was much easier to get money from my customers than to get from VC. So I went back to, uh, to try to, uh, uh, to grab some money and some revenue from customers uh, to, to prove some traction and then it took me between uh, 45 days up to three months in total to, uh, to close this uh, seed round or this series A round. So um, my recommendation to any SMB uh, owner, any company uh, to spend time with customers, to spend time with prospects uh, in order to, uh, to, to get some traction and when you have that traction I think it's quite easy to get some money. But well, the, the, during the first year, we, uh, we, uh, <laughs> we invested our own money <laughs> and all time on money. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> all right, great. Well, any closing thoughts? Well, um, I would say that uh, my recommendation to, uh, uh, to any entrepreneur that, that is willing to, uh, to launch his company is first do it. Uh, this is a big job on, on earth. I worked for a large company, for L'Oreal, for Oracle. I had very nice uh, uh, executive position, but there is no better than running in some company. Uh, it's tougher, <laughs> for sure. It's difficult, but it's really very, uh, very, very nice experience. So I strongly recommend that. Also, never give up, never give up. And the best way not to give up is to spend time, your time with your customer, with your prospect, to see uh, you know, what, what I need to do to refine my product, what I need to do to refine my pricing, what I need to do to improve customer service. And, and then uh, what is really great is to ask them testimonials, to ask them to shoot a video, uh, to ask them to, uh, to get some advice, and this is really uh, a very, very nice journey. So go and, and start your own business. <laughs>